I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello there. That's... That's... Hello. All right, we were right in the middle of a big exciting thing. Oh, that's right. Yes. The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. Mm, I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the I, I can. That's I can prove I'm, that the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Phoenix, that's, that's, your, not, that's you saying. Not used okay. as the murder weapon. It <laughs> it's just wasn't. There you go. Huh? Wrong, Mr. Wright. What? But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fey blood. What? Oh, whoops, my bad. Uh, okay, I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. Sorry, uh, it was all a big mistake. It's giving you a second chance. Yeah, I could prove that the samurai spear was not the- uh, it's, here we go. Cool. I present my proof, so-called murder weapon. But- but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. OBJECTION! <laughs> I remember that the spear broke during the morning. I don't know why I said I. <laughs> <laughs> But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. Oh god. She fixed it with duct tape. And I was like, that's crazy talk. <laughs> now tell me, who is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Pressure, pressure, pressure. How is it possible is what I meant to say. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? <laughs> the wall. <laughs> Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard! Murph. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was! How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what even the dang weapon was? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Very well. Let's see this murder weapon, then. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this photo. Every time I do it, it makes me load up. <laughs> what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Yeah. And what's this? Oh, somebody dead, too! Order, order! If I cannot have order, this tribe will, will be suspended. I'll be super mad. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an Long <laughs> past the statute of limitations. <laughs> it was an unfortunate accident at Globo Studios. Or was it? This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite an oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's an oopsie poopsie, as they call it in the industry. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wh what are you saying? The yes. fence post is the murderer? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> yeah, and I'll do it again, too! <laughs> what happened five years ago? Dang. Has happened again! <gasps> <laughs> That's a very slippery patch of pavement in front of that fence. Someone should fix it, Mr. Wright. Continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Ms. D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then... She did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Why did I word it like that? Though whether he did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, yup! Uh-huh, uh-huh! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? No, it's not ironic. Don't you think? It's not at all, it's just coincidental. <laughs> hmm. Oh, ho, 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 very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. <laughs> you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say, for the sake of argument, uh, argument, 
That hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes, from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Hmm. She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> Actually, for the matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. <laughs> Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she killed the body. <laughs> uh-huh. Hmm. Miss Vasquez. You carried the body to Studio One. And you used the Studio One to do it! Ah! Bam, bam, bam. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was, an, uh, there was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One! Then before everyone else got there, you put the money in the magistrate costume! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> Hold on, right. Don't forget, it was Salmonella that drove the van. Slap? Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Salmonella has to have been conspirator, dang it! The body had to be placed in the dang van and put in a dang costume! <laughs> There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone, you silly billy! Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood! They probably burned it in that small incinerator that was too small to have the costume inside. Well, Ms. Vasquez, <laughs> shall I continue? No, Ned. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. What? I win? <laughs> um, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. It's not not usually how it's supposed to go. But, yeah. Um. So what happens next? Don't me. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? Boy, she's a pain in the ass. I lost something like that. I just said that. W wait. So you mean, D Vasquez? So it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a yes. Wait, really? Who can say? Oh my god, you can, right now! Uh, are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right But, that is only a possibility. <laughs> Proof is another thing altogether. You like this, Mr. Wright. What? Oh, Phoenix, you dumb bastard. Order, you dumb bastard. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? You dumb bastard. Um, uh, mm, uh of course it's as the witness says. <laughs> Certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Uh, I think she totally did it, but, you know, it's like, it's like, there's not even... Um... That Edgeworth, he's not, he's not such a bad guy. Yeah. Like, he's not great. He's clearly, like, a self-serving, pompous douche, but, like, he, he's, he's on the side of justice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving to murder more uh... uh <laughs> Urk, what do I do now? Uh... Um, Testify again, Vasquez. Yeah. Testify! I- I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. 
Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Um, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers, a waste of time. Damn. Damn! <laughs> to come so far only to fail. Even though it was really looking like everything was okay. Yeah. As it seems there are no further questions. Oh, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Whoa. Damn, Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I didn't. I see. Very well. <laughs> Your, I thought of one! Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? <sighs> well, yes. Um... <laughs> Hmm, indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo, and other Latin words. <laughs> Is that Latin? I'm not exactly sure. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? <laughs> after they found the body. After they found the body? <laughs> after they found the body. <laughs> Very well. The after witness will the testify. <laughs> the witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Humph. Nick! Why did Edgeworth? Who knows? That guy's a prick. He probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth... <laughs> Daddy... So... Dreamy. Alright, Okay. After finding the body. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers and saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings, of course. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Alright. Okay. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Um. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure she started to foster. She certifies. <laughs> Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Oil her up and grab her and suplex her from the neck. <laughs> <laughs> from the neck. <laughs> Give her the DDT. Um, Jake the Snake's finishing move. The only thing I can think of. Uh. Is this one? Yeah? Because we found the script in st at Studio One. Ooh, yeah, that's right. She asked for the script to be brought to her. Yeah. Your script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Why are you shouting? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Dope. <laughs> hmm. Dope. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, my bad. Ah, uh, dope. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Oh, snap. Edgeworth, your honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. What? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Ha! Ah! Damn. Edgeworth is pissed. Yeah, what the hell? Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you- what- what- what you have just said is a reasonable observation. But stupid. However, <laughs> however, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? Um... <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. And I deeply bow. 
I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> now, Miss Vasquez. I'm hot and pissed. Do you have an explanation? We'll find out next time on Game Grumps. Oh, God, the cliffhangers! Mmm. I must know how this ends. I know, right? It's exciting, it's, huh? Yeah, it's really, really good. It's an actual ding-dang courtroom drama.